done. So I went to Hobby Lobby today because like I said, I've been trying to find the paint that's on clearance. So I went to a different store today because I have three in my area. So I went to another one that I hadn't been to this week and I finally found the stuff over there. So let me share with you guys what I found. I found this bottle right here. It was $2.49 and it says that it glows in the dark. So let me see if I... Oh, look, can you guys see? So I'm not sure we can tell it does glow in the dark with just that like little bit right there. So that's awesome. So I got that. And then there's this one. It reminded me of like a Robin's egg kind of color. So it was 34 cents. I don't know what it's called but anyways that's what it reminded me of like that kind of color okay this was just like in the aisle you know how they have like little displays so it was half off because it was the spring so it was three dollars and it's just that purple like cheesecloth so i thought that would be really cool to cut up to use for embellishment now back to the paint i got this one right here it's a beautiful silver paint and it was $1.99, so it's just silver. I thought that one would be really pretty to use to paint some stuff, so I got that one. Then I found this little bottle right here. It's in the color Lime, and it kind of looked like ink to me, so I'm going to have to figure out how to use this. So I'm going to have to watch a video on it, but for $0.74, cents, I figured why not. And let's see. The paint stuff kind of ended up in different bags, so there'll be more coming up. So this was $1.24. It was just glitter, and I thought this would be really pretty for, like, Halloween. Because just, like, an orange with, like, a little, like, light gold. So that's what the lid looks like. So I figured, oh, why not for Halloween? You know, just put some little glitter on everything, you know? Make everything shiny. And then I found some jewelry stuff. So I got these two. These were 89 cents. And that's all that they look like. Just little balls with some metal and some um, thread. So I got those. And then I also found this one for 39 cents. The little wood beads. Um... Sorry, somebody ring the doorbell so the dogs are going to be barking in the background. And then there was this one for 59 cents and it's just some flowers. Oh, I think it's missing a stone. Or maybe it's, I don't know, because all of them are missing the middle stone. Okay, that's okay. I'll just glue a stone in there. And they're just like little pins, so. And from the paint, this was $1.99. So... This looks like, a, oh yeah, it's a rose gold. I would say this looks like a rose gold. So yeah, this is rose gold. So there's that one. And let's see. There was a silver. Oh, this one says platinum. So there's that one for $1.99. Same company. And let's see. So I got some more invitations from this store. So there's this one for 49 cents and it's a little sloth and I saw a little envelope back there and I'm like, oh, that is so cute. So I was like, I need that little sloth. Oh, that's cute. The little inside. See, he's just like waving like, hi, how are you doing? Really cute. And here's like the little invitation part. But again, I'll probably just, you know, layer this with some paper and just use it to cut to make embellishments or tags. And then... Here is a little sloth guy. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, and he's plain because he's this invitation is supposed to go in there like that. Oh, so he's really cute. You can put this like on a scrapbook layout or anything and then just use him like a little pocket. Those are really cute. So I got two of those. And then there was this one for 49 cents and it was shark. So I'm like, ooh, shark week, you know, on TV. Or to put like anything like mermaid or ocean themed. So this would be a good one for that oh it's red i thought this would have been blue so there's a little shark there and then here is the party invitation oh my god that is so cute it looks like the shark ate a piece of the invitation that is too funny so there's the invitation there and then i had showed these the other day so i picked up two more just because i really really wanted the envelope part of it 
I got those. Here's some more jewelry. So this one was $1.39. So that was 90% off. So I'm like, it's not going to get any better than that. So I went ahead and picked it up. So that's what it looks like. Just some glass beads. And then I found these set of paint brushes. So they were $2.49 a piece. And they are mermaid. And they are different. They're not the same kind of brushes. So when you go, just check to see, you know, which ones you're grabbing. But I think I have the complete set now. And I like the bag that I'll show you, you know, how they paint differently. I thought that was really nice. So I think this is the all of them, the full set. So I got those. And then these were still there. So I picked up two more, the unicorns for 62 cents. Then there's the dinosaurs for 62 cents. I like dinosaurs. I think they're so cool. So I got those. Here's some more paint for $2.49. So it says brush lettering stuff. So this one's in gold. Really pretty. And then these are on sale this week. So all the zoology stuff was half off. And I asked, I'm like, is this included? And they said yes. So I picked up two because I'm like, how pretty to do like an embellishment or a bead box with these in blue. Because I don't have any colored ones. So I really like those. So those were $1.99. No, how much were they? Two dollars. Two dollars a piece. Sorry. And then here's some paint and metallic for 49 cents. These were 69 cents. I had bought these before, but I really like them because they reminded me of like animal print. So I definitely want to do like some kind of like chunky charm with them. So I got those. And then look, I found this one for 99 cents. And this is that Swarovski crystal stuff. So this matches like the unicorn that I bought the other day. See the Swarovski stuff? So look at that. It's just a little cupcake with a little like cherry right here. Really pretty. And you can kind of see it shine right there on the background. It's really gorgeous. So I got that one. And then there was this one for $1.74. It's just some silver. So I got that. And this is metallic pink for $0.49 cents in green. And this is some enamel paint. This is a silver. This one was 62 cents. This one was just called a black cherry. I just like the name black cherry. I used to use that hair dye back in high school. <laughs> so it reminded me of that. So I picked it up. So this was 39 cents. That's what that one looks like. And this was just a metallic paint for 37 cents. And this one looked like um, a burnt orange to me. So I picked this one up for 34 cents. And 49 cents. Just another metallic. Let's see. Oh, this one was beautiful. See all the like gold in there? So this one's metallic and this one was 74 cents. I kind of want to check another store in my area to see if they have these. Because I definitely want more. So the other one that I had didn't have like glitter to the bottom this one you see so this is the lime one and there was like no glitter in here it's just green where this one has like the gold glitter in there you see how it's like metallic so there should have been more of these but all the spaces next to it were empty already so i kind of do want to go to another store in my area to see if they have these because i would love to get more like this one and then there was this glitter for a dollar 24 and that's all that it looks like right there just I don't know, kind of like, kind of like a copper color. And there was this one for 74 cents, just some glitter bits. And more metallic for 49 cents. This one is like a silver. Oh, it says pewter. There's this one right here. I think that's supposed to say garnet for 49 cents. There's this one for 49 cents. And 74 cents. And this one's a purple. I thought this one would be really nice for Halloween. Because I love purple, green, orange, and black for Halloween. So down to the paper. Okay, I saw these. Like I said, I haven't been to the store in about a week. And I've seen them. And I've just passed them by and not picked them up. And then today I was like, you know what? Let me flip through it. They're still here. Let me check them out. So when I grabbed it, 
I noticed the bee right there. And you guys know that I've been collecting bee stuff because I want to do a bee project pretty soon. So then there was this piece that said like hugs and kisses. So I'm like, that could be for like Valentine's Day. So I'm like, I could definitely use this for other stuff. So I decided to finally cave in and pick it up. So it comes with some alphabets and some numbers. And then here are the sheets. See, like this could be anything. The baby ones I won't use. I thought that one was really pretty with all the bows. So a lot of this can be used for anything. It doesn't have to be baby, but like the baby specific stuff, I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. So I also got the boy one. And the boy one also has B in blue. So just more cut aparts, letters, numbers. And then here are the pages. I like the little bow tie. So yeah, kind of the same thing, but you know, boy colors. So I have no idea what I'm going to do with the baby pages. I got to figure that out. And then... I saw this pad before and I left it, but this time I finally decided to cave in and grab it. It was $5, $4.99. I don't know anybody that's in the military, but after I thought about it, I'm like, I could definitely use this for like 4th of July. So there's like a bunch of like um, patriotic pages that could definitely go for 4th of July. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and take it. So here's a little flip through on that. I mean, I do live in San Diego and we are a military city. So, I mean, I could use those other pages for like when we go to, sometimes they have, um, what's it called? Like parades and stuff. So I'm like, I could use it for that. And that could just be like a truck theme. So that could be like an anything. So I figured that, you know, eventually I will figure out how to use this. No problem. So I went ahead and I picked this one up. I like that page and it's very like boy you know like boyish so i got that one and this was still there for a dollar 49 so i went ahead and i grabbed it it's just baseball um maybe eventually my nephews will be able to play sports again and we do go to the san diego padre game so i figured why not on that one this one was still there so i'm like you know what nobody's getting these i'm gonna take it home so a dollar 50 on that one so it was funny when I got to the cash register, I didn't realize that this one hadn't been marked down to $1.49 and it was $2.49. So I was like, eh, I don't know if I want that. And the guy's like, just take it. And he rang it up and threw it in the bag. So I'm like, okay, well, I guess he made the decision for me. So I thought that was funny. So I took that one. And then there was this one. And this one I actually wanted another one of. So this one was $1.49. And I liked um, this background paper that looks like a bee. So I got that one and then there was this one for a dollar 49 but this one is just all pinks it's not the pastel with the multicolor this one is just an all pink one this top one is kind of like a neon pink I don't really like anything neon but the other stuff I craft a lot with pink even though I personally don't like pink but a lot of ladies that I swap with like pink so I figured I might as well cave in and get one of those as well so that's everything that I picked up today from Hobby Lobby. Yes, it is. All my bags are empty. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.